check this out <clears throat> so this is the effect i know a lot of people are uh wondering how to do like these lines without having to use other softwares like maybe photoshop or something like that so i'm just going to teach you real quick um while i'm doing this uh, how to make that um the outline perimeter so you know, people can see what land it is and stuff like that so this is what i have done so far so it just comes in it sticks almost like tracking so so that's that right there that one's done and i'm going to teach you how to do this one right here it looks a little bit more complicated but it's not that complicated so here here we go so what i did was um i made one of these uh green color palette things what i did is i opened the new item i went into color matte you got you made a different color i'll do it right now click ok click green ok and, and i'll just call it green Damn it, green. Yep. So that's what I did. Clicked OK. This thing came out right. Green. Drag that on top of the footage that you want. So right now it's on top of that DJI, DJI footage, right there. Boom. Select it. Go to the opacity tab and then click the square. It'll turn that um, green object into a square. Now we're just gonna select. We're going to start from the beginning, so I'll just leave that there where it is. I'm going to zoom in to the timeline, and I'll start from the beginning right there. So, um, select your mask again. Once it's selected, go to on the feather, go to zero. You don't want any soft edges. You want hard edges, so there you go. So, I'm going to start mapping it out right here. So, I'm grabbing this corner, attaching it to right there. And it's, this one's kind of simpler than others because we could see where the land is. So I'm just going to drag it right on top of the that fence uh, outline. That's going to be our first uh, dot, I think, on the mask path. You're going to click this right here, which says toggle animation. Click. And then you created one of these uh, little markers. So that's going to be your first marker. You're going to go on a little bit more, like right there. Click your mask again. And then that new point, align it to the fence. Align this point to the fence. Align this point right there, this point right there. And there's your other one. There's your other uh, marker. So it created it for you. As long as you're still on that marker, everything you change will attach that marker right there. So we're going to go on to the next one. Right there. That's cool. Same thing. Attach to the fence. Go in here. Once you get used to this, it's going to be super easy to do you could just knock this out in like a minute every scene every shot that you did just knock one of these out i mean every viewer is going to appreciate you know looking at the land exactly where it's at it also ups your um your production value when you add stuff like this people really take that in consideration whenever they're hiring editors or anything like that if you can do this kind of stuff you're gold right so make sure people know what you can do so let's play it back boom see attached it'll be following your paths awesome <clears throat> start actually the beginning i'm gonna align that too there there cool and cool all right next step you can basically just do with that if you want to but what i, what I like to do is add a little bit more effect to it so i'm going to um Turn this into a nest. You nest it. Um, my quick key is Command N, but if you don't have that, you can just select it and then go to um, right here. You go to Clip and Nest, and I have it as Command N. Some people may not have that, but I put the shortcut as Command N because it's the easiest for me. So you turn that into a, a nest. You are going to copy it, so you're going to hold um, the Option key and then click and then drag up. That makes a um, a copy of that whatever you dragged so now another copy i'm gonna get the bottom one add a shadow boom shadow and i'm gonna put shadow only on this one and then i'm going to uh let's see 35 what's the other one on 35 it's 214 so we're gonna keep that 214 214 shadow I say so 214 and this is just the angle so I'm just just I'm just adjusting the angle of the shadow that way it's a little bit more uh, att attaches to the um, to the footage 
So this top one, I'm going to animate it. Um, so once you click it, you are going to click on the position, but make sure you click it to like right, uh, right there. And then um, once I start moving this right here, it's going to uh, make a marker. So I'm going to lift it. Boom, right there. We're going to click the marker. And so it's going to start off as a lifted object. So it appears to be lifted, but it's actually just uh, shifted it up. So now I'm going to bring it back down right here. So it'll happen right after that is uh, up. So I'm going back down right there. So when you play it back, it's going down. Boom. That's awesome. And I'm going to cut these off just so it doesn't come back in when the song starts. Coming down. Boom. Okay. I'm going to reduce the opacity on this green so people can see behind it and they can kind of get a better idea of what part of the outline it is. So there it is. Cool. Boom. Awesome. Perfect. All right. I hope that helped you guys out and I'll see you on the next one.